Welcome everyone to Vested Interest. This is Shane back again with our stock pick of the day. It is May the 2nd guys seeing a little bit more green today. Some of the stocks that have been down are starting to recover a little bit. Still a lot of uh, volatility in the market. I wanted to take a quick second and thank everyone who has taken the time to like the videos, watch the videos, uh, comment in the comment section and subscribe. Special thank you to those who have subscribed to the channel. We are just about to cross over the three digit mark 100 subscribers really appreciate it guys you may may be uh watching this and see it pass over 100 subscribers by the time this comes out but let's get right into the video we are going to look at procter and gamble it is one that i really like but is often very outside my uh buy range it has pulled back so we're going to take a look at it for those of you who don't know Procter & Gamble, I'm sure you have these products in your uh, cupboards and may not even know that they're Procter & Gamble products. Uh, P&G history, Procter & Gamble history, a legacy of forward thinking for over 180 years. We've challenged the norm and inspired the future from the products we put on the shelf to the people we bring in our team. And then the, if you go to their homepage at US dot pg.com you'll be able to click on the categories to explore more about the events that made them who they are today also check out their products guys this was just a few of them that i pulled up that i knew people would know i mean bounce tampax mr clean crest gillette pampers head and shoulders gain vix ivory febreze puffs cascade charmin tide bounty old spice pepto bismol love oral b there were so many others uh, that again i know people would know and i'm sure you have in your cupboards in your pantry you know in your uh, underneath your sink uh, tide wash your clothes ivory in your shower you know vix for whenever you get sick uh, pepto bismol if you have a stomach ache loves if you have little kids uh, you know so th this is a bohemia pampers for little kids as well gillette if you shave you know crest if you brush your teeth mr clean if you want to do some house cleaning bounce if you need to make your clothes a little uh, a little softer out of the out of the dryer there uh, tampax for women who need some f feminine products guys like i said behemoth of a product a lot of the stuff on your shelves you probably didn't realize is made by procter and gamble and at the close of business on may the 2nd procter and gamble uh, ticker pg is out of the consumer staple sector Close of business was $155.83, so it was down 1.61% on the day. As you can see, it actually closed up a little bit from the lows of the day. It looked like it might have been down 154 range at one point, but closed at 155.83. 52-week range as low as $131.94 and as high as $165.35. So guys, maybe one to watch and see if it pulls back even further close to this 131. I'd love to get it at 131. Again, my price uh, average is around the 140s, so I've been waiting for this pullback. I was not a buyer at 165, 155, starting to get attractive, but I'd really love it down below 150s in the 140 range again. Has a market cap of 373.883 billion, so is a large cap. A beta of 0.44, so it is less uh, volatile than the overall market, about half as volatile than the overall market. Here's the one thing I don't like, guys, a P.E. ratio of 27.57. That's why I say if, if you could get it down in this 131 range, that would probably bring this P.E. down to around the 22 range. But here's one, guys. Procter & Gamble is just not one that you see in the low P.E.s very often. It is oftentimes you're paying a premium, uh, what I consider even above fair value, but it just doesn't dip down very often. Like, So if you can get it down in these 131 range or even lower, that would be awesome. It does have a forward dividend yield of $3.65 paid on the year. It pays out quarterly, so to divide that by four, we'll tell you what you get per quarter. 2.28% dividend yield, so not the highest, but not terrible. It does beat the overall market. X dividend date of April 21st, so you would have to wait to get the, the next dividend payout. You would not get, you've already passed the X dividend date. And Yahoo Finance, where I pull this information from, has a one-year estimated target of 167.16. So a little bit of stock appreciation from there. Let's take a look at what some other analysts have to say. Again, Procter & Gamble down 1.4%. According to the 35 stock analysts who have taken a look at this, they call it a buy with a one-year target low estimate of 125.24. And boy, if I could get it at these prices here, I would love it. That's a 19.8% decline from current uh, stock price. 
a average price of 170 so again speaks to some upside appreciation their average 170 would be nine percent appreciation in stock price from where it currently sits and if it happened to hit their high of 194 dollars and 25 cents that would be a 24.39 percent for a behemoth of a company like i said you probably have multiple multiple products of theirs in your uh, cupboards and don't even realize that they're procter and gamble products this information was brought to you by stockanalysis.com not affiliated just where i like to pull some information from Guys, these are supposed to be quick hitters. This one was a little long. This one was a little longer than uh, typical. But as always, I appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to show me some love. Hit the thumbs up. Ring the notification bell. Most importantly, guys, subscribe to the channel and, and let me know what you think down below. Drop a comment down below. Help me grow this channel, guys. Dropping a comment, hitting the thumbs up, the like button helps me to beat the algorithms, the YouTube algorithms. Get the word out. Let's push for financial security, financial freedom for all of us, for myself, for yourself. That's what I'm trying to find for you, value in the market so that we can all retire early, live off dividends, passive income, uh, dividend stream. Guys, that's what it's all about. That's what this channel is about. I do personally read and respond to the comments. So if you have any other videos or, or suggestions for videos you'd like me to cover, stocks you'd like me to cover, topics you'd like me to cover, I'm always interested. I do read and respond to the opinions and the comments myself down below. And this is Shane signing off, wishing peace and prosperity to you and yours. And remember, financial security comes to those who take a best in interest. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Really appreciate everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much. I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing in this presentation should be considered financial advice. I'm only sharing my opinion and investing journey for educational and entertainment purposes. Investing involves risk. You can lose money and should never invest any amount you're not comfortable losing. Always do your own research and invest based on your situation, circumstances, and select criteria, or seek the advice and counsel of a certified financial advisor.